mine. Do they ever quit? Yapa! <laughs> Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. <laughs> really? Now? You think this stuff grows on trees? <laughs> Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine. Yet. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure... Now hang on, to... Lil Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. Hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked up. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, 
I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. certain the giants would not counsel war. I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Uh, uh. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh. So, where are we going? Alfheim. Home with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from the mirror, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphine, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. Appreciate it. 